Hey guys, so welcome to another first impressions video. Today I wanted to do a first impressions on the new Maybelline Master Glaze. I'm sure everyone has been seeing this everywhere, on TV, in magazines, in your drugstore. So I figured let's pick it up and try it out. I only got two shades and I got Just Pinched Pink, which is this little pinky color, and Make a Mauve. Today I'm going to be trying the Make a Mauve. I got this at a Rite Aid for $8.99. It's 0.24 ounces or 6.8 grams. I think what I'm going to do is kind of just, you know, put a little on my cheek and then kind of with my own hands just kind of blend it out. So I did some of my makeup, keeping it very simple today. It doesn't have a scent to it. Let's swatch it out. So it's really, really pigmented. The consistency is super creamy. Creamy, but then when you, almost like a cream stain, I wanna say. Cause as soon as you work it through, you don't feel the creamy consistency, but you still have the color there. So that's about as much product as you get, which I don't really think is a lot, but we'll see. Cause it doesn't seem like you need to use too much, but I don't know, when you work it through, it is very sheer. So I'm just gonna, So yeah, it's super pigmented, but it's it's pretty and it blends out nicely. Uh, you do have to be careful with where you actually place it because I feel like if you don't work it through quick enough, it will leave like those circle. Because if you see on my hand, you can see like a circle is where I originally put it down. So I think the best advice is work quickly with this. Really pretty. Like I didn't work quickly enough here, so oh, you kind of see that circle-y. Maybe dabbing it isn't the best method because you will get those little circle things, but I have to play around with it more, but I really feel comfortable kind of just drawing a line. Let's try it out. So, and blend it. The color is really pretty. It's very pigmented, but not too much, and it blends out nicely. I guess you would have to be careful with putting a little bit too much, but it does give a little bit of color, which is good. I'm not crazy. I have like a line. I, I, do you see that? This is what I mean by working quickly. You have to. Now I feel like I have to add more to blend that little mark. That could just be my skin. It is kind of like a stain, so it is like a cream blush. You don't feel the cream or anything on your face, which I guess would be preference if you if you want to feel it on there or if you'd rather it not. So I think what may have happened is I probably had like a dry patch right here and kind of just like absorbed all the pigments. So be careful with that. I feel like I want to keep adding more, but I think it might be enough. This is bothering me. Ignore that. Let's look at this side. I like it, I think. I'm also not used to like a blush stick or anything like that. So it is taking some getting used to. If you're used to it, I think you'll like it. If you're not used to it like me, it's gonna take a little while. Okay, so I put it a few layers on, maybe like three or four, and now you can like really see it. So yeah, be careful if you have dry skin, because I feel like that's what happened here. If you have dry skin, it might be hard to kind of spread it out. So far, so good. I like the color. Okay, I'm gonna see how it lasts throughout the day. I'm gonna just set it a little bit. This is kind of bothering me, but it's okay. It gives like a little pop of color, I like it. All right, so, so far that's what I got out of it, that you have to work quickly, be careful if you have dry skin, and I don't know if my technique was was not the right way to do it. Like I said, I don't, I don't normally wear cream blushes, so there's a different technique that maybe would be better for this. Maybe I should buff it out with a brush. We'll see. I'm probably actually gonna buff it out with a brush and see how I like it. This is not going anywhere from my fingers, you guys can see, which I like too, because if I'm like, you know, it's not going anywhere, good. So it's pretty much like a stain, I think. So we'll see how it wears throughout the day. It is 10.29 right now, and I'll keep an update throughout the day, okay? Hi guys, so I'm back and it's eight o'clock at night. So before I give you my opinion on what I think about this blush stick, there are some things that I did wanna mention. I do believe that there are six different shades and actually on my way to work, I was driving and from when I swatched it, I kind of saw a little sparkle and I, I wasn't sure if it was from the blush stick or not, but looking closely in the actual stick, 
I think you can tell there is sparkle in there. And I didn't notice that right away, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that there's a little shimmer. And actually, from where I swatched it, I mean, I literally just cooked dinner and washed my hands and stuff. I don't think you'll be able to tell, but I still actually have a little bit of the stain and a little bit of the sparkle. So it's definitely long wear, and I like that a lot. Only thing is, again, be careful with the placement because if you mess up and accidentally, you know, it's gonna be there. So, the end of the day, I don't think you can really tell. I do still have some color on my cheeks. I don't think you can tell on camera, but it's still there. It held up nicely throughout the day. It felt really nice. It didn't even feel like I was wearing anything. Just based off of these two different shades that I got, I'm really liking them. I like that they're true to tone. I swatched this one just to see if it's true for both. So the pink, this is what it looks like. I guess it's pretty true to tone. It's super creamy and you can see it. And that's the one I wore today. Overall, how do I feel about the Master Glaze? Once I get that down and I'm more used to a blush stick or a cream blush, because I usually just wear powder blushes. So I think I have to work on my application technique personally. But in terms of the actual product itself, I'm very happy with it. I felt like it stayed in place. It didn't really shift. Like I said, you do just have to work quickly. It's super, super pigmented. Okay, so I just blended out both of them together, but it blends out nicely and you see it just leaves just a little touch of color, which is beautiful because you don't want your blush to be like a doll, you know what I mean? I do like the shimmer that it has on it. It's very subtle. I didn't even notice that it had shimmer when I first applied it, so really just once the light reflected off of it, that's when I noticed the shimmer. And I think that's a beautiful quality to have in a blush because it acts almost like a highlight, but it's not sparkly, you know what I mean? It's just a little bit of shimmer, and I think that's great to have in a blush. Even watching it and blending out, it seems like you can actually combine and blend the different colors together. So that's a great thing to have also. If you feel like they don't really have a color that you want, I literally just learned you can blend them out and get a beautiful shade. So overall, I'm super happy with this. Way to go, Maybelline, because these little bad boys are great. I'm loving it. So the Maybelline Master Glaze, in my book, it's a go. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you guys go out there and try them for yourself and see how you like them, if you like them, when you go out and get them. So be sure to thumbs up this video. Be sure to subscribe and stay happy, you guys.